And we're back. Day 8 on the advent calendar. Every door is a magic booster pack. And I have no idea what's waiting inside. So, let's see what we got. Oh, we have a return to Innistrad here. We've got the double feature from Innistrad. Okay, this is a divisive set. Um, I don't know what to think about it. I know that there is some valuable stuff in here because so few people actually went out and bought double feature. Um, apparently, it really wasn't as great a limited environment as people thought it would be because they just, instead of curating the sets, they just literally reprinted every single card. So you had two copies of Evolving Wilds and at least a couple of other cards that just ended up being uh, in multiple slots. So it was hectic, to say the least, as a draft environment. And it just ended up really cluttered. But let's start. Although I have said my thoughts on the black and white of Innistrad, there are some cards that definitely look nicer than others. And the embossed frame certainly is great. So, you know, let's start with Moonrager Slash. We have two in a red for an instant that costs two less to cast if it's nighttime. And you deal free damage to any target. So, Lightning Bolt for Werewolves. Gotta love it. No way out. Classic in Estrad Horror. Two in a black for a sorcery. Target opponent discards two cards. You create a 2-2 black zombie token with Decayed. It's, you know, mind rot with a little extra benefit. So, hey. Sun Gold Barrage. Two and a white instant. Destroy target creature. Toughness four or greater. I mean, I've played Vanquish the Weak in Limited before. This one's got to be at least a little bit better by one mana, right? Dawnheart Rejuvenator. Free and a green for a 2-4. And there's the battlefield. You gain free life. Tap to add one mana of any colour. I actually played with this quite a bit, I think. You know, just... There was a couple of combinations between the human decks, between some ramp, some life gain, toughness matters. This one kind of filled a lot of places. It did its work. Oh, aim for the head. Two and a black sorcery. Ivor. Target opponent exiles two cards from their hand, or exile a target zombie. I saw this used against me too many times in Arena on these Innistrad drafts. Let's see. Wretched Frong. One in a blue. When it dies, you may search your library for a card named Wretched Frong, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. 2 1 Zombie Horror. Yeah, this is, you know, one of those cards like Gathering Frog and other ones that reward you for drafting multiples. I never got to live that dream, but I'm sure there are many people out there that managed to make it happen. Nurturing Presence. One in white enchantment aura. Whenever a creature enters your battle, you're under control. The enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. When Nurturing Presence enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one spirit creature token with flying. Yeah, I there was the enchanted theme that went through there. I don't know if that was one of the high picks. Uh... Oh, Kessig Flame Breaver, uh, Flame Breaver, even. One free, one in a red for a human shaman. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, deals one damage to each opponent. Yeah, I've seen this played a lot recently as well with the addition of the enchantment in Brothers War that lets you add up on little single sources of damage. Sunrise Cavalier. One red white for a free free human knight with trample and haste. If it's neither day or night, it becomes day as it enters the battlefield. Whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, put a plus one counter on target creature you control. I mean, it's all the stats right there. It's a free, free for free with trample and haste, and it gets bigger just as things happen. Yeah, I think this was a pretty solid one just for a bit of white red aggro. Purifying dragon. Free red red for a flying dragon for free. Whenever attacks, deals one damage to target creature defending opponent controls. If that creature is a zombie, the dragon deals two damage to it instead. 
you got to love Flyers Unlimited. Lunar Rejection. Cleave. People did not like this mechanic. One in a blue. Cleave cost. You may instead pay three in a blue. So return target. Wolf or Werewolf creature to its owner's hand. Draw a card. If you pay the Cleave cost, you get to ignore that Wolf or Werewolf bid. So this goes from, yeah, uh, a slightly less useful blue bounce spell to a slightly more powerful one, depending on exactly how much you play for it. Eh, it it's nothing exciting, sadly. But you could reliably play this and just bounce werewolves without needing to pay the upgraded cost. So, you yeah. know. Oh, we've got one of the double face cards here. So, on one side, Alluring Suitor is two and a red for a two free vampire. Whenever you attack with exactly two creatures, transform the suitor. So once he finds his dance partner, he turns into Deadly Dancer. Free free trampling vampire. When it transforms, add to red mana. Until end of turn, you don't lose this mana as steps and to face his end. Pay two red. Deadly Dancer and another target creature each get plus one until end of turn. So just enough for him and his dance partner in that case. And I believe I've just seen our rare. We have Suspicious Stowaway. One in a blue. Human Rogue Werewolf. It's a 1-1. One -one. It can't be blocked. And whenever it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card, then discard a card. And because this is the new mechanic for werewolves in Innistrad, the Daybound and Nightbound, on the back side... We have Seafaring Werewolf. A 2 1 instead that can't be blocked. And whenever it deals damage, just straight up draw another card instead. Yeah, it's not going to fit in my Werewolf Commander deck because blue, green. But I've seen players use this one quite a bit. Oh, I've just seen as well we have. I forgot because double feature is effectively two packs. We have two rares. So welcome. Thalia, Guardian of Raven, one in a white for a first striking 2-1. Legendary creature, human soldier. Non-creature spells cost one more to cast. Awesome reprint to have her back. She's been doing a lot of work. She does a lot of different decks. Not half bad. Now... Behind their search party captain. Free and a white. Costs one less to cast for each creature you attack with this turn. Enters the battlefield. Draw a card. I mean, this basically cantrips if you've done a good wide attack. Uh, yeah, it's pretty decent common in the human deck. But the question is, does double feature have two foils? Or is this... Yep, that's the last card. <laughs> yeah. Not bad, I'm a werewolf fan, so I'm always happy to get werewolves. Especially if they look pretty awesome. So, uh, that is today's pack. And hopefully we'll find something fun tomorrow as well.